Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Krista here and you're watching the Radical Angel Esoterica. I appreciate you being here for your moon sign series. Finally getting this underway for you. So today we're looking at moon in Cancer. Um, this is where the moon is going to be most at home, although you can be accused of being too emotional. So with all of this information, I just want you to be able to help yourself out, to know thyself. Um, so it's an incredibly powerful position for the sun, uh, rather the moon to be in, because like I said, it's at home and it's where you are most comfortable. You're not even going to be someone's emotions or emotional world will not even phase you. This is where you live. This is where you are your best. You both shine and can be, um, find yourself almost, you know, drowning in too much emotion, depending on who you're around, uh, depending on what your, uh, sun and rising signs are. But ultimately this is the, the moon's home. Uh, so the moon is ruled by cancer and this is your cancer in the moon. So very, very cozy. Um, some of the major themes around the moon to begin with is that this is the hidden or the dark side of the personality. As we, as I mentioned in the sun sign series, your sun sign is what you exhibit. It's what you think you're projecting out there. It's your way of presenting yourself as opposed to your rising sign, which is how other people perceive you, and your moon sign, which is your emotional depth, your emotional world. It's how we most often react to things, believe it or not, and then we sort of say, you know, why did I do that, or why did I react like that, or how come that has a hold on me? That's because of your moon. Um, so you're probably very intuitive. You could even be psychic. Um, if you have any of that in your life or you've, if you are intrigued by that type of thing but a little bit put off by it or scared by it, um, it could be because it comes naturally to you and no one's talked to you about it. I know that this is true for some Cancer moons, even other water sign moon signs, where they feel it's uncomfortable. They almost know too much. They can intuit. They can sense things and it's a little put off-ish. Uh, but if you understand that it's natural and it's actually a gift, um, you can use this to your advantage. And in other words, you can trust your instincts, trust your judgment, trust your gut. Um, anything where you're overthinking or thinking too much, you can just go back into, you know, what does my gut tell me? And you can get out of the head because the mind can play games. Um, your instincts are always on point. So if anyone can trust their instincts or if anyone watching has um, to vet a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you know, find someone with their moon in cancer and have them meet them because <laughs> they'll tell you straight up like my senses, kind of like spidey senses, <laughs> my senses tell me or I get this feeling. Um, but that's generally what's going on here with the uh, moon ruled cancer. So uh, just few more things about um, the moon being fourth house ruled. Of course, this is cancer. This is where you're very comfortable, but this has to do with the mother. This has to do with nurturing, intuition, security, uh, very likely children and animals, whether or not you are physically taking care of them. Um, you could just really have a natural propensity toward them or feel very strongly toward them. Um, around protection, protection of the child. You could even have um, some former trauma around these areas as well, uh, depending on how, if you, if your moon in cancer is afflicted, um, you could have had, you know, trauma within that environment. So the home, mother intuition. You could have been brought up in, a, in an environment, for example, where you were told to ignore your intuition or stop being so sensitive or, um, you know, why are you always talking about your feelings, this type of thing. You could have grown up in a not very supportive environment. Um, but again, that's less about you being wrong or bad um, and more about your environment not being welcoming or nurturing to this personality type for you. So everything that I'm going to be referring to is listed in the description box below. I just want to bring up some major themes 
around your moon in Cancer. So um, it's important to watch out for becoming moody and oversensitive. You know, how does one do that? Again, this is a really tricky spot for you because this is your whole world. Um, especially things from the past. I mean, you could even be, I would even say can't, um, Taurus moon and Cancer moon. You're going to be in antiques. You're going to be interested in antiquing. You're going to have old photos, old everything. <laughs> um, security, longevity, these things mean a lot to you. Handmade anything is going to mean the world to you. Handwritten letters, um, romance, you know, capital R, romance is very important to you. Um, you would actually do really well with another water or even earth sign moon. These would be very appealing to you. These are very practical down to earth energies. And while they could find the over emotion a bit heavy sometimes, what they can do is lend some perspective. And this is what it's all about. I think there's no good or bad anything. There's just a light and a dark side. And then we learn to work with it and use it to our advantage. So, um, you want to remember here as well to try to protect yourself from what other people are feeling. Like I said, I think that you could be psychic or so intuitive to the point where you feel energies around you. You could even, you know, naturally be able to suss out someone's aura, for example, as well. And if you're not attuned to that language, you're not comfortable with, with that sort of, you know, occult sense of, um, psychic nature, that could be frightening to you and you could ward that off with um, distractions of any kind, right? Like the rest of us, you could be someone who's overworked or, you know, um, just distracted. Um, and Or you could find that it's so uncomfortable or it's uh, disallowed in your environment that, you know, you could drink that away or try to get rid of it somehow but it's important even if you choose not to use it it's important to recognize this is natural for you and it's it's a gift it's your superpower um so you also want to uh the best part about this is you can have the family over domesticity comes very naturally to you you could work from home or choose to work from home or feel more comfortable doing that. Again, with children and animals, you could even work with mothers. Um, you could even work with individuals who are planning children. You could be a doula or a midwife. Um, could work in childcare, animal rescue. You just have a very soft heart. <laughs> and again, it's, on, it, on its own, it's not a negative thing, but it is something that um, people can use against you or could feel somewhat uncomfortable, especially in the world that we live in right now, which sort of poo-poos anything sensitive or emotional. So let this be your superpower. Let, you know, become strong in this. Um, I want to talk about the bright and dark side of cancer as well. And then we're going to finish up with some famous people with their moon in cancer. So the bright side of a cancer moon is that you're more imaginative, sympathetic, tenacious, and loyal. Yeah, like I said, there's this sense of you know, it's, it's, the symbol is the crab, right? The cancer symbol is the crab, hard out of their shell. You know, you're going to, I don't need you. I can get by on my own and then scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. Meanwhile, you have a really soft center and you're a softy inside. You tend to go at your um, goals sideways as well. You're not, even though you're cardinal, double cardinal here, right? The moon ruled cancel. Cancer is double cardinal. You're very interested in beginning something. Um, you're just going to have to physically follow through with it and not get wrapped up in potential, right? Um, and then the dark side of the Cancer moon are the, you're more possessive, moody, self-pitying, and a nag. You know, it's just because I think you find so many things to improve more likely than not within your own family, your peer groups, your own children, your own creative output, or even your own inner emotional world. Um, you might be interested, for example, why do I feel this way? And then get on your own nerves about yourself. Um, but you can do something about that. You can say, um, I am this way and I'm going to make it work for me instead of you know begrudging it. 
because um, there's a lot of beauty um, as well in the artistic world. I think you can be very artistic and emotionally nurturing for other people. So find some strength in that. Let's finish off with uh, famous people with their moon in Cancer. We have Tom Cruise, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Harrison Ford, Aretha Franklin, Bette Midler, Eleanor Roosevelt, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Wow, I didn't know they both did it. And then uh, Jean-Paul Sartier and Paul Simon. Also Benjamin Spock. So yeah, musicians, individuals who are um, with the uh, Roosevelts, for example, these are interested in you know, higher values for homes and women and, you know, the American family. Uh, Harrison Ford was the hunk. He was the, you know, the, actually, he his cancer is in sun as well. So he is a double cancer, which makes him probably a very moody person. Uh, but he's also very emotionally adept. And aware of himself so depends on what you want out of the people in your life um, or what you consider strengths or not and then Isaac Newton you know was um, a scientist and inventor so yeah you can use this to your advantage uh, Benjamin Spock literally worked you know he was a doctor a children's doctor um, Paul Simon is a musician, very um, mellow music, kind of chill music, emotionally, I would say, advanced uh, music. No one can accuse you of being emotionally unavailable. <laughs> That's for sure. You, you're sort of all in. You're going to put everything into it. So do yourself a favor if you're just beginning something or just beginning to date someone or just beginning a new project, you know, try to temper how you feel about it. And um, look at the bright side of things. Instead of nagging or being critical about something, look at what's going right and then map out what you'd like to improve. Remember, there's no such thing as perfection, but there is such a thing as excellence. So help yourself out and uh, be kind to yourself first and foremost. So Cancer, that is uh, that's the moon in cancer. I hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, are you a typical moon in cancer? Comment below. Let me know if this made sense to you or if you would add something else to the lists that I've given here. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel and like and share my videos. That really helps me out as well. So thanks again for joining me today and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.